it also includes a curated current catalog with CI, CD, observability, and of course, security tool. Can you also explain how that ecosystem integration accelerate, you know, the whole ML ops workflow and once again helps the team? Yeah, so I think there's two parts to that. There is most of these modern workloads, most AI workloads today are running on Kubernetes. Kubernetes itself is a scheduler. It's a very powerful scheduler. It provides for a common abstraction across all of this infrastructure. But ultimately, what makes Kubernetes useful is all the services we put on top of Kubernetes. And we, we, need, we need a very simple and clear way for people to find those services. You know, again, going back to the whole idea, developers and data scientists don't want to care about all the complexity of the infrastructure. So if we can make all those services they need ready to go, easy to deploy, one click, or you know, their administrators can quickly put those onto the platforms for them, we're reducing the friction. We're giving much more standardization, um, and we're simplifying the experience. If we go into the MLOps framework, every, every workflow, every user is going to have a slightly different approach to the way they do things. Um, and again, by providing the catalog of tools that they can then compose to meet their needs, not forcing them into a stack pattern where they have to use everything out of a particular stack. They can compose their own stack. They can pull their own components together to deliver on their needs, but do so with guardrails, do so with potential support. And I think what's really critical here is we as an organization become the glue um, that provides services to the end user, but we're able to work with all these other great companies in the industry who are also offering interesting services and make it easy for people to find their capabilities um, within the infrastructure, within the platform. I'm just going to tag team a little bit there on what uh, Sean was saying, because um, it, it's not, we're still at the very beginning of understanding what these applications are going to look like when they're fully formed and, and broadly adopted inside the enterprise. But we can already see that there's, we're going to go beyond large language models where we look when we look where there's been traction and success in enterprises like we already can see in the healthcare industry for example that they're using image-based models with radiology images and they're get, having great success already and, and what you need to do the kind of stack that you need for a visual model is very very different than what you need for a large language model right and so kind of to sean's point you know providing enterprises with sort of a toolbox that includes a bunch of our tools, but also anybody else's in the industry, and then allowing them to assemble it on a per application basis, whether it's agentic frameworks or different kinds of models, but you know, basically to solve domain specific problems, I think accelerates enterprise adoption of these AI powered applications and lets uh, enterprises focus on what's most important, which is delivering business value sooner rather than later. 